Yes, sir. And tell me what's going on, my friend. I, when, I, when I start my truck, it, like in the headlights are in the auto position, or it doesn't really matter. When, I, when they're on the auto, when I start the truck, the headlights will come on, and then usually um, the uh, passenger side headlight will turn off, but, but about half the time, both of them will turn back off. So they turn on, then turn back off. Yes, sir. Okay. What size engine do you have? A five O. Okay. And have you replaced anything for this so far? No. Okay. And the, are these factory headlights or these aftermarket headlights? The factory. Okay. I can uh, I can um, turn the truck off and then just turn the key to on without starting it. Let it sit there for about five minutes. And then start it, and the lights will stay on. Oh, really? Okay. And it's only affecting the low beams. I, I can hit the high beams, and they stay on. Okay. Well, that matters, so. so the way it works is that your headlight switch, your headlamp switch, sends a signal to your body control module, and then from there, your body control module will power up your headlight circuit or your you know your both front headlights. So. Okay. The question is, is it the body control module or is it the headlight switch, right? So it could be either one. I probably wouldn't, the, the, the body control module is going to be a little more, uh, probably a lot more expensive. So there's a couple things you could do. You could either, A, you could simply just replace the headlight switch and see if that does the trick. Or you could have someone check for codes in the body control module with a compatible scan tool before replacing the headlight switch just to take a look at like the input, see if there's any diagnostic trouble codes in the BCM that could help pinpoint the root cause. I am getting the code for uh, the, the BCM and the ECM. Okay. And that's all it says. It's just saying, and it does break it down. It'll say something about lights. I, I forget now what, it, what all it said, but uh, I, I can have the guy do it again. So where did you get this code from? Yeah, you know, it, it had a check engine light come on and it was, uh, I was having trouble with the, uh, the cam shaft sensor or position sensors. Yeah. I raised those, but the, another code that was, that was coming up, it said ECM and BCM and, um, steering wheel control module or steering shot or steering. It, man, it's got, it's got three or four more codes on there. So I'm not, okay. you know, I gotcha. Looks like I'm showing here. There's a blue wire that runs from the headlamp switch into the BCM. And this blue wire is the low beam request. So what you could do is if you access the headlamp switch or the, the wiring or the connector, right? When this happens, I would just check for a signal on this blue wire. Looks like it's gonna be a ground. So inside the switch, what happens is when you turn on uh, the, the headlights, what happens is it just makes a path to ground. Uh, the ground comes in in the switch, black wire with a violet stripe. <clears throat> so I would just, with a test light, a voltmeter, or what I would use is a power probe, and we would just, I would just check for a, a ground on that circuit. If you're not getting a ground on that blue wire from the headlamp switch into the BCM, I would probably just replace that headlamp switch first. Okay. And then th that'll that'll save you the trouble and the hassle of possibly going after the BCM, which would kind of be more of a headache. That would need to be done at a shop because it'll need to be programmed and stuff like that. Um, but if that, let's just say the, the the blue wire maintains a ground, but the BCM it it appears the BCM isn't you know activating the 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 low beams. What I would recommend that you do is disconnect the battery cables from the battery and rub the cables together for five minutes that'll discharge all the capacitors and all the modules on board the vehicle, including the BCM. Say that again one more time. Yes, sir. It's You can disconnect the battery cables from the battery and then okay. rub the cables together. Okay. So that's a hard reset. Okay. And then that might, sometimes if, you know, if the, if the BCM is like locking up or if it's, you know, if it's freezing, sometimes that'll do the trick. You can, so you can try that. But in some cases, either the BCM may need to be updated or programmed at the Ford dealership or worst case scenario, it may need to be replaced. But that'll be a last resort. I would definitely go after that headlight switch first. Okay, that's what I'll do then. That's what, okay, I got you then.
I sure appreciate it. All right, my friend, you're welcome. Good luck, okay? All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.